Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Callie and today I am doing my July book haul. So I'm very, very excited. I got a fair amount of books. I was able to go book shopping actually really recently with Brittany and Sarah. So we were able to get some books and I pre-ordered a fair amount of books this month, which I am hyper pumped for. So I am just gonna get into it. So the first book is actually a gift from Sarah and she got me Seasons of the Storm by Ellie by Ellie Casamano. This book is really pretty and the general idea that we got from this story, like people from different seasons, in order for the seasons to actually happen, the next season has to kill the previous season but in this one, two of them end up falling in love um, and don't want to participate in that. So it sounds really intriguing and an interesting play on how the seasons work. The next two that I have, I got from Target. Usually, I don't go to Target very often, but when I do, I always check out their book section. They always have stuff on sale. So the first one that I picked up was My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I've heard really good things about this. It is dark, it is twisted, it is about an adult woman who starts to reminisce on her teenage years where she had a relationship with a teacher. And when more accusations against that teacher start to come about, she starts to realize how toxic and abusive that relationship was. So is this has caught my eye. I'm really intrigued to see this story. And like I said, I've heard nothing but really good things about it. The next book that I picked up at Target is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I've heard nothing but good things about this. And with the current climate, I really wanted to give this a read. Um, before, I felt a little old for this. Um, I felt more YA focused. Um, but upon further research, I think this is an important book um, to read in today's world. So the next three books I got from Book Depository, which if you don't know, Book Depository ships from all over, all around the world. Only is this is my first time ordering from them. I know Sarah has ordered from them a lot. The only issue that I had is they don't provide you with tracking. They're just like, it's on the way and you don't know if it'll show up tomorrow or in two weeks. So these ones took about a month to get to me, but it's okay. So I got, they're out of order too, the British editions of the Dave Abed series. So I got City of Brass by S.A. Chalkboardy, Kingdom of Copper by S.J. Chalkboardy, and The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chalkboardy. I'm really excited and I loved these covers, so I decided to pick these covers up instead of the U.S. editions. Um, these ones were A, cheaper, and they I find them prettier. The only issue I have is uh, the new book is a little taller and it's more floppy than these ones. So, but really excited to have this whole series. I am um, reading Kingdom of Copper soon. So I'll get to Empire of Gold next month, which I've heard nothing but amazing things about um, the, the next two books. And the next section are the books that I ended up getting when I hung out with Brittany and Sarah. We went to our typical stopping grounds of Half Price Books and uh, Barnes & Noble. So from Half, Price, from Half Price Books, I picked up three books. I picked up Tiger's Curse by Colleen Huck. I've heard that this is one of the most underrated YA series, older YA series. Um, similar to like Kiss of Deception and books of that nature. So when I've, I've been keeping my eye out at half price for one of these and I finally found one and in hardcover, which I was really pumped about. So I picked it up. From what I understand, this is about a girl traveling to India who accidentally breaks a 300 year old curse um, and releases a demon into the world. So it sounds extremely intriguing and right up my alley for fantasy. The next book that I picked up from Half Price Books is Why I Am No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. Um, I have fi just finished White Rage um, by Carol Anderson this month and I wanted to pick up a, another anti-racist book to continue educating myself on the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, so I saw this one and wanted to pick it up. And the last book that I got from Half Price is A Very Large and Expansive Sea by Tahara Mafi. This is a YA contemporary following a girl, um, a Muslim girl shortly after 9-11. Um, I love Tahara Mafi's writing style, so I'm really intrigued to see her write a contemporary opposed to the fantasy and dystopian that I'm used to. 
Um, but um, I've heard really, really good things about this book. And when I saw it on the shelves, I picked it up immediately. And of course we went to Barnes per usual and I picked up two books. Um, I picked up Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Barshadust. Honestly, I have no idea what this book is about, but I am obsessed with Girl Serpent Thorn, which is Melissa Barshadus's newest release. Um, so I really wanted to pick up her first book um, because I loved her writing style and I love the way that she tells stories. Um, so I really wanted to pick this one up. And the last book that I picked up at Barnes and Noble was The Lovely War by Julie Berry. I've heard really good things about this book. This follows four people uh, during World War One and Two, but it is told in the perspective of the Greek gods telling the stories of these four people, which sounded really intriguing. I'm not one to, I'm not very interested in World War One and Two historical fiction typically. Didn't learn a ton about the, those wars in school. Um, so I'm very intrigued um, to this. And the idea of the Greek gods telling these stories um, just boosted up my intrigue for this book. So I'm really excited to get to this one. So I have three books left and these are the books that I pre-ordered for this month. So the books that I ended up pre-ordering was Unravel the Dusk by Elizabeth Lim. This is the sequel to Spin the Dawn, which was one of my favorite books of last year. Next, I pre-ordered The Dam by Renee Adier, um, which is the sequel to The Beautiful by Renee Adier, which I will be reading it soon and I have heard nothing but good things about the series and I really just wanted to have this one ready. In the last book that I pre-ordered is The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning. This is supposed to be a Princess Bride retelling, which I love The Princess Bride. I've been watching it since I was a little kid and when I heard that I immediately picked it up. I really like Sarah Henning's writing. She wrote the Ursula retellings and they were unique and still true to the original stories, but with her own twists. And I'm really hoping she brings that to this book as well. And those are all of the books that I bought in the month of July. I got a fair amount, but I got a fair amount on a deal. So really pumped about that. Um, just pumped it overall to get to these books because I've been flying through my TBRs non-stop recently and I'm hoping to keep up that momentum so feel that is gonna be it for today check out all of our links below we have so many links um, for you guys to check out um, I'll also put book depositories website uh, down below in the description if you're interested in checking them out as well they are really good if you're looking for non-us um, book covers please like comment and subscribe to our channel we post videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday and I will see you guys in our next video bye